I want to talk about something that is a big topic and I know that you speak about it, it's infidelity. Mm -hmm. And I wonder with the patients that have come into your care, why do you see it occur? And I feel that for a while, people thought it was always the males that were the ones that were um, having affairs. But it, we now know that there is a lot of women that, that are having affairs as well. And I'm sure it potentially is equal. Why do you think that occurs? Well, first of all, who have the men been having affairs with? Mm -hmm. This idea that it was only the men. <laughs> That's so true. You know. The penny just dropped then. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know, some of them may have gone to other men, but many of them went to yes. other women, right? Affairs have always existed. They have been part of the story of marriage. Transgression, infidelity. It was indeed primarily a privilege of men because they were more protected. Because women b were possession of men, they were the property of men, and so were the children, and she had everything to lose. And women have rarely done what they wanted, they have done what would keep them safe, and still do so in the majority of the world. So the rate of female infidelity goes up when women become more equal and able to take care of themselves mm. and are protected by law and are not going to lose everything and become destitute. Yes. That's what changes the rate of female infidelity. Economic independence, legal protections. Affairs occur for a host of reasons. Some of them are connected to the relationship. Loneliness, number one. Sexlessness, indifference, chronic bickering, lack of joy, in neglect, um, contempt, all the reasons that make people want to flee. Mm -hmm. So you have a whole range of infidelities that are a reaction to discontents in the relationship. And then you have a whole other type of infidelity that may have very little to do with the relationship, that is much more rooted in an individual's experience of absence and of longing. One of the most interesting things that I learned after 10 years of working primarily with couples and, and families with infidelity is the fact that it happens in good relationships too. It happens in happy couples too. Really? Yes. That sometimes when a person goes elsewhere, they're not just because going elsewhere because they want to leave the person that they are with, but sometimes it's because they want to leave the person that they have themselves become. Oh. And it's not so much that they're going to look for someone else as much as they're going to look for another self or other parts of themselves that have been lost. That woman that is at home, that has been caring for their, her children, that is just the mother, the wife, that has not thought about herself for God knows how long, sometimes finds herself one day yearning to once again bring back the woman behind the mother. Mm. And she's not rejecting her life she just yearns to bring back a part of her life, of herself, that she doesn't know how to integrate in the life that she has created. 